this is my very first attempt at uh, repairing something like this particularly a camera lens I have never ever done anything like this before and understandably I have made some mistakes this was uh, my first one I hadn't uh, removed the plastic parts from the aluminium mount so the calibration shim started to fall into the lens uh, when I moved the lens Luckily, I was filming this video, which helped me return shims to the correct positions. It took some time and a lot of screenshots, but I successfully did it. The biggest mistake I made, as I can see now, was not watching any YouTube videos on how to disassemble a lens like this. The mistake I made was not removing the entire block without separating the aperture blades assembly from the glass elements. At this point, I must confess uh, that I didn't know what to do or what to look for since the lens had been dropped and uh, showed no signs of broken parts internally. I started searching the internet and came across the lens rentals in America. Their blog captivated me with the depth of expertise and insights in the post. Um, one article in particular titled Tearing Down the Sony 24-7 F. 4 ZA OS Vario Tazar caught my eye. I reached out to them seeking guidance and advice regarding my challenging issue. Fortunately, they responded, but unfortunately, it was only one. Second video I have found was made by an Indian craftsman who was addressing a similar issue. I reached out to him via email and Facebook, but unfortunately, I haven't received a response yet. After examining the flex cable under a microscope for quite some time, I couldn't find any visible cracks. However, when I checked the continuity, I discovered that one of the three tracks from the glass position sensor was not con conducting in that first focusing block. To double check my findings, I soldered a wire to that point on the position sensor and took another measurement. My initial diagnosis was correct. After two weeks of waiting, I am now ready to replace it as I have received the replacement part.
I am finally able to manually focus but the F still does not appear and the camera does not accept operations when this lens is attached. And this is where the fun part begins. I began to suspect the PCB after discovering a recall by Sony for these lenses. Although my serial number wasn't included in the affected batch, I decided to reflow the BGA soldering under the chip. Unfortunately, this didn't resolve the issue and uh, the camera still wasn't operating. I decided to replace the PCB, but after two weeks of waiting for the new part, it still didn't work. If you believe you have a faulty PCB and need one, feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to sell it. I also ordered an entire Aperture block, but after two weeks of waiting, that didn't fix the problem either. This is my very last hope, the main flex cable that connects the PCB with all the components. At this point in my repair, I reinstalled the original PCB and Aperture ring. Deep down, I believed this would fix the issue. And bingo! The F appeared instantly, the autofocus is working, and the camera takes pictures perfectly. Finally, I'm shooting with this lens and uh, that flex cable helped. I hope it might get you on track. Thank you for watching and bye for now.